I'm Don Brown. I'm going to do a how-to explanation of putting 3D video onto YouTube and using the new tags that allows the viewer to choose up to 10 different ways to see 3D on YouTube. But that includes ways uh, of viewing the 3D without glasses, doing what's called a free view or parallel viewing or cross-eyed viewing. And then there's also the traditional methods where you use the 3D glasses like this. The most common are red and cyan colored glasses, although some people have the uh, amber and uh, glasses from the Super Bowl commercial from uh, last year. And so you can choose that now on 3D videos on YouTube. So you, whatever kind of glasses you have, you can choose uh, which method to, to watch the 3D. So it's a pretty good feature that's done by YouTube Pete. All right, so let me just run through basically what you need to do if you want to uh, watch some uh, 3D on YouTube or make some 3D videos. First of all, you need to have a 3D camera or at least two different cameras set up for 3D. Uh, the easiest way i found is just to buy a 3D camera. Minaru makes a nice uh, 3D camera for under $100, and that's what I use all the time, and that's what I'm using here. Now, your browser so far, uh, the browsers that work the best are Safari, Firefox, and uh, but not Internet Explorer. Uh, also, Google Chrome works okay. But Internet Explorer 8 uh, does not show the little drop-down box for some reason, except for the first time when you load a page, and then after that it doesn't work. In Firefox, sometimes you have to refresh the page if that box disappears. So at this time, uh, don't use Internet Explorer 8 because it doesn't work too well. <coughs> All right, now, if you want to um, set up to, to uh, re record your 3D, first of all, you record it in cross-eyed or parallel viewing. The default is going to be cross-eyed, uh, Pete says. And so you set it up with cross-eyed for your, your cameras, which is uh, right is on the left and left is on the right which is kind of backwards because I like to do it in the parallel viewing, but in, in any event, you set it up that way in the side-by-side -side format. Then you, you upload your, your video to YouTube, then you edit it and add the tag that enables this drop-down deal. And the tag is YT3D colon enable equals true. All right, now... Depending on your camera setup, you might have to also have a tag for the aspect ratio. And you have to experiment with that. And the tag is YT3D colon aspect equals 2 colon 3 is what I've been using with, with the Minaru 3, 3D webcam when I'm taking a side-by-side -side in the squished format. And that gives you a bigger picture. If you're using the regular side-by-side, -side, the aspect ratio is 4 colon 3, but you'll have to experiment with that to make it appear correctly. Okay, now, then the next thing is uh, if you're doing a, a parallel side-by-side -side, uh, version, you have to add the tag YT3D colon swap equals true, and that just reverses the two frames. So the default Pete is using is the cross-eyed side by side, but if you want to use the parallel, which I use all the time, you have to do that swap equals true tag on your YouTube. And also now, if, if people are wondering, well, how, where do I get these glasses? Well, you can buy them for a few dollars on uh, lots of places uh, on the internet. I sell them on my webpage and, and just mail them out to you so you get them in a day or two. And also you can get some free ones if you're willing to send a stamp 3D address to a couple places. Uh, and you can also find that just Google free 3D glasses. The disadvantage is you got to, you know, do your, send in your uh, stamp self-addressed envelope and then wait for them to uh, send some back to you. But at least you can get them free for the cost of a couple stamps. And red and cyan glasses are the most common. So that's probably what you want to get that look like this. Um, the Super Bowl glasses are an amber uh, lens on one side, and some people might have those hanging around from last year's Super Bowl. But you can use any kind of glasses now using this new feature, but red and cyan are still kind of the uh, 
the standard. Although the Super Bowl glasses have an advantage that they have better colors, but the disadvantage is they're dark, and so it, it, it shows up a pretty dark picture. Well, anyway, I hope this helps uh, you guys uh, trying to do some 3D and watch some 3D, and you can see this, uh, how, how this effect works out in 3D on this particular demonstration video. Well, anyway, have fun with 3D, and uh, check out my YouTube page or my Justin TV pages where I got lots of YouTube stuff in there. All right, have fun with your YouTubing and your 3D viewing and making 3D recordings.